Uh, what's good guys so today i'm going to be addressing one of the comments that i received on the hitboxing video um basically he was saying how um i made the the get parts and bounds box um method um return anything that's touching the block and i was trying to explain to him that um it was only returning items that are inside of it whether it be partially or fully um he was saying that for him he had an arm. I guess he was using an R15 character. So if I, if I pop this out right here, um, he had. A, I think he had an, an arm that was like 90% um, inside the box, but he had a hand that was 100% inside the box. And he was saying how like that hand was able to uh, was was printed out inside of the return table, but the arm was not printed out, even though it was partially in the box. So I'm assuming it was like partially in the box, like um, so, like this amount maybe. Oh no like this amount maybe but it's this arm still wasn't printed out um and basically what i was telling him is that any part that's in the um in whether it be partially or fully it would still be returned so i'm going to basically try to simulate this uh give you guys a, a better visual to see if if it makes more sense to you guys so this is how i'm going to be essentially um setting up the hitbox so basically we have a hitbox in here um, a query in here, right? Uh, hitbox query in here. Uh, this tool is gonna every single time we click this tool, it's gonna it's gonna basically print out anything that's inside of a four stud radius from our humanoid. That includes our uh, character too. So it will look something visually. It will visually look something like this, okay? So like the hitbox is gonna be a size of four four four, right? Um, and it's gonna be offsetted f two studs away from our humanoid root part, okay? Let's go to the script. So in the script, you see right here, we have um, the return table. We declare the return table, and then we also have the C frame offset, which is basically um, the the humanoid root parts uh, C frame, but offset by two studs. So in front of it, by two studs, the size is going to be four, four, four. And as you can see right here, see, Let's check the size of that, four, four, four. Nice. So it should look something remotely to this. So basically, um, just by looking at it, we should assume that it should print out five things one of them being the head the arm oh i'll take that back actually it should print all it should print every single part of this um of this character so it should print the head because the head is, is halfway in it the left arm right arm let me stop moving my bad so left or well right arm left arm torso human root part left leg and the right leg so it should print every single part of this um of our character because they're all partially inside of that box inside of that uh inside of that zone okay so let's click it and test it out all right so we're gonna click this boom and let's check our uh, return list boom as you can see it prints the left uh left left and right leg it prints the human root part the torso left and right arm and the head because they're all partially inside the box but you, as you can see it doesn't print the base plates because um the base plate is not touching the zone see the zone is not touching the base plate by like look, let's look if we were to make the size if we were to make the size let's say um maybe let's add like three studs to the size or if maybe four studs to the size so we're gonna do that's oh sorry we're gonna do that's uh you're gonna do that's okay so that's two studs already right and then let's add another two studs so that's four studs in total right and let's offset it again so let's let's make it exactly Let's make it exactly the character's uh, root parts position. And then let's offset it forward by two studs like we did before. Boom. So now the hitbox will look like this, okay? So, um, whoa. Wait, hold on. Messed up. Um, let's try that one more time. Um, the new hitbox will look like this, okay? Um, let me bring this down by the amount. Okay, this is the old hitbox right here. Let me just make sure I'm. Uh, that's the human. Okay, so let's um, let's actually move the human root part back to the torso because I think we we took it out by accident. So we're gonna move the root part back to the torso, like so, and then move this same thing, and then move it up by two studs. So one, two. So this is the old hitbox, and this is the new hitbox right here. Okay, so with the new hitbox, um. 
it should print everything that's it should print every single component of the character every single base part of the character as well as the base plate because the base plate is also partially inside that zone okay so let's test it out by changing the contents of our script right um let's get to that uh boom okay so we're going to change the y component of the size to um we add what we added four studs right so let's make it eight okay let's check the size of this to make sure it's eight on in the y component uh eight so okay cool so now if we um play and um test it out boom it should now add the base plate as well as you can see the first uh index the first item in the array is the base plate. So you have the base plate, the left left and right leg, the humanoid root part, the left and right arm, head, and the torso. Okay? So yeah, um, that's basically how it works. If you have any questions or if I addressed your um, problem incorrectly, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on how the uh, get parts in bounds box um, um, method works, let me know. And this was using this was um, doing it without any overlap parameters, by the way. So this was just like no filters, so just raw, like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me know. I might do another video just explaining it with the um, um, the parameters. Okay, with the uh, overlapping parameters. But that's it for now.